Hello everyone, CapM here, and in this video I'd like to get into RO Inc. and the recent news they announced today. Also, if you'd like 3 free stocks and access to our private Discord chat, check the links in the description below. So guys, getting into it, RO Inc. is a Texas-based electric vehicle company that is basically trying to provide solutions for use within urban and short-haul markets, and they're capable of accommodating commercial requirements in their vehicles, and RO's vehicles are safe, affordable, efficient, and sustainable. So they're going for a broader range market, guys, and they're kind of now looking to be the pricey end of the electric vehicle market. Now, now today they announced the completion of their factory expansion in Austin which is going to go from 10,000 square feet to 24,000 square feet and this expansion includes new assembly lines that's going to be crucial to providing a huge increase in their vehicle production per month. So before Aro was able to produce around 200 vehicles per month and right now they've increased that production size around 200%. So they're going to be able to start producing around 600 new electric vehicles every month and this is definitely going to be a boost for the company and it's going to benefit it in the long haul. And the other announcement that they had today was that they also had $15 million registered in a direct offering where we see that institutional investors came in and purchased shares around $4.75 for this direct offering. The close of this offering is expected to happen on July 8th. And again, the company is going to get $15 million to be able to reinvest into its products. So both of these announcements are definitely good for the stock and we are seeing it pop today. And Aro guys right now looking at their website just to show you, we see that they have two cars that they're producing. So this Aro 311 is the first electric three-wheeled vehicle of its kind. So we are seeing this is going to be marketed more as a professional and personal use car. And this is the vehicle that they have for normal use and consumption. And their next vehicle that they have is also the club car 411 and this is going to be used guys for campus solutions and it's kind of the middle ground between these full-size trucks and small utility cars so this is kind of an interesting market that they're going after it's kind of similar into workhorse right where we do see that they're also going for that electric vehicle delivery market and we're seeing that this specific car will be used as kind of a work fleet solution for manufacturing and moving stuff right so R is definitely an interesting look when we do see all the hype that's going on recently with all of these electric vehicle companies now looking at our guys we know that this stock is very speculative right we said that they started trading around june 1st we see that we have these institutional investors willing to buy at around four dollars and 75 cents right to risk some portion of their portfolio in order to potentially have long-term gains now don't get me wrong you can trade aro based off of its volatility but if you guys are looking at this electric vehicle company as a long-term investment you guys should really have a strategy that you guys want to instill for aro so if you guys are looking to invest in this long term and keep it throughout the next few years then it's not a big deal if it were to fall 30 40 percent right because this is a long-term investment for you guys and we can see potential gains now if you guys are looking to trade it obviously we have a much different strategy and i'm going to show that soon but i want to say that this is a very speculative company still and we still don't know what the demand for their cars are. And the one thing that's kind of concerning to me is that we are seeing a lot of electric vehicle companies being pumped and being on the news. So that's just something to take into consideration because there is a lot of hype around several electric vehicle companies that we are hearing about right now. Now let's get into the stock chart. Now looking at the chart of RO Inc, we do see that it popped all the way to this $8 mark, right? And we are retracing back around 35% from the recent high. So right now, guys, just be careful when looking at the stock. Understand that in the meantime, we do see that institutional investors did buy around the four dollars and 75 cents mark but again many people popped into the stock thinking that they're going to make immense gains but this stock is very volatile at the moment and many people are looking to just pump the stock for the next few days right now the area that i'm looking at for a retracement would be this previous level of the breakout that we just saw today so if we do retrace into this three dollars and 30 cents mark all the way to the three dollars and 50 cents mark i do think there's a possibility to buy and hold long term and that can yield decent benefits if we see the stock become popular amongst consumers now as a short-term trade i do think this is kind of bearish where we're seeing a lot of investors take profits right now and i do think we should wait until this 20 exponential moving average does creep up into this region where we do have the previous resistance confluence where we got rejected once twice somewhat of a third time and a fourth time over here before we eventually popped up and have around the 67 percent gain today so i do think if the 20 exponential moving average creeps up into this three dollars and fifty cents area with this area over here acting as a previous level of resistance and turning into support i think we can see a nice bounce in aro over the next few days and remember guys there's always the possibility the stock can keep on going higher but i just personally don't like to go into overextended trades and i think it's not worth the reward to risk ratio that you could potentially get right i mean it can pump much higher over the next few days it's just extremely volatile right now and we're seeing a lot of investors take profit and as i stated before i am a little concerned with all of this electric vehicle news hype that the media is pushing out right now so i'm just trying to be a little bit cautious in my approach i understand there is potential immense gains to be made but i like to look at the technicals to see where we can potentially buy if there's a dip over the next few days so overall guys if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe it really helps out the channel a lot with the algorithm thank you guys for watching and have a great one